Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Sailor, stand still a minute. I want you to slip into this. You flipped, kiddo. Oh, now look, baby, three days now, no tourist has set heel, toe, or nose in Shannon's place. Least you can do is cooperate in drumming up a little trade. Come on, try it on. It'll make you a walking dream. You can get down on your hands and knees and touch your pointed head to my open-toed sneakers. I'm not getting into that thing. Oh, come on. At least let me hold it up to you for size. Ah, sure, a creation. Just the shoulder straps off a little here, plane this area down a bit, chop off a little here. Shannon, just put your tired little skull between these What's two... What's the matter, sailor? You got a thing against sandwich signs? What kind of a neurotic are you? It's just that I ain't tasty between two slabs of plywood. <laughs> Baby, you slip into this. Grab a fistful of our handbills, work the plaza for an hour, you'll have them standing in line. Well, that's cute, cute. Keep him behind a wooden barrier, son. That way the fillies never get away from you. Ain't that right, cutie pie? Look, mister, you want a room? Just ask for a room. Let's not feed no sugar to no fillies, huh? <laughs> you got yourself a ball of fire, mister. Just dribble her against that board for a while. She'll shape up. It's like the lady said, mister. You want a room, ask for it. Cheap philosophy brings the rates up. Well, no offense, mister. That's just me. Kindly. That's why I'm looking for a slate Shannon, because... I'm on a kindly errand. Rest your weary frame, friend. You found him. I'm Slate Shannon. You the same Shannon owns a boat? Yeah, the Bold Venture. She's lying at the pier with a sick carburetor. It's real kind of you to ask. Well, that's me, you know, kindly. You wouldn't be the Slate Shannon that's a friend of a fellow with a scar by the name of Rudy Keyjohn, would you? Rudy? Yeah. Why, Rudy was the greatest swashbuckler of them all, after me, of course. Why, five years ago in New Orleans, I left Rudy swashing and buckling away fit you to... You sure that you were with him in New Orleans five years ago? Sure, I'm sure. It's one of the fondest memories of my life. Well, that makes you Slate Shannon, all right. Makes you something else, too. A killer. Honey, sugar bun. Whoever told you this man was Slate Shannon? Five years ago, they found Rudy Keyjohn on the waterfront dead of a knife wound. New Orleans police been looking for the man he was with the night he died, and I just found him. Me, Bob Yancey. You crazy, mister? When I left Rudy, he had his arm around a New Orleans paper doll. Stick your nose to my badge, Slate Shannon. Also this gun, it's known as a police positive. Then come quietly, you're under arrest for the murder of Rudy Keyjohn. <laughs> Nancy's not back yet, huh? Hungry, Rudy? Well, answer me, honey. I'm a girl and attention should be paid. I brought food. I asked you if you no. were... Oh, where's the manners, honey? Offer from me to you one Havana hamburger sandwich. I'll hold and you can nibble. Linda. Mm-hmm? Untie me, Linda. Get me out of this place. Has he gone to Slate Shannon, Linda? Mm-hmm. A little while ago. Get me out of here. Untie me. Go on, Linda. Untie me. I can't do this thing to Slate Shannon. To an old friend. You've already done it, baby. Now we know all about Shannon we need to know. And we needed to know it. Thank you, Rudy Keyjohn. And you'll use this knowledge to do what to Shannon? Oh, don't worry your tousled head, honey. You ought to eat something, Rudy. 
Eating's nourishment, and you're going to need it. Get out, Shannon. What for? This is no way, Yancey. It's Havana waterfront at eventide, fabled in story and song. Out. Over here. I'm good to you. Look how nice you can see Havana's waterfront. Now, I do this because I've got a feeling that you're going to miss it. Hey, you got something on your mind, Yancey? Yeah. Yeah, I have, Shannon. I'm noted for things I have on my mind. What's today's burden, Yancey? Well, once I read the encyclopedia, it made me fluttery. You know, that, that section under jade. That part about feet suey jade from Burma. goes like this. Uh, new paragraph. Quote, Fitsui jade is the rarest and most valuable jade known, unquote. Now, isn't that nicely worded? You a cop, Yancey? Pay attention, Shannon. You know, I could forget there's a murder rap crawling all over you. Look over there. That boat, that's a beauty, huh? Oh, you mean that catch? Uh-huh, yeah, that's the catch moon spray out of Rangoon. I was there when she left. The skipper was pointed out to me just before he weighed anchor. The skipper's name is... Pedro Velez. Pedro Velez? Friend of yours? You a cop, Yancey? Take a look, Shannon. What does that make me? Anything I want to be? Right. Not a cop, huh? Well, I got a cop's badge. Stole it from a dear friend of mine who's a cop. Pedro Velez, Shannon. Skipper of a catch out of Rangoon, hauling a small sea chest of feet suey jade. That's the burden, huh? The current one, yeah. I need to get aboard that catch, Shannon. You can arrange it. You know Pedro Velez. Listen to this, Slade. That's the safety catch of a gun. Sounds just like that because that's what it was. Let's get going, Shannon. We've got a thing to do. Sighing over the scrapbooks of Mr. Slate isn't going to free him of a murder charge, Lady Sailor. I just can't believe it, King. Slate's no killer. The kind of man Mr. Slate is, Lady Sailor, the kind of life he's led, who knows what might have happened to him back in the shadows of his years. You think he could have killed a man? Do you want an answer, Lady Sailor, to make you feel better, or do you want an answer? Just an answer, King. Yes, I think Mr. Slate could have killed a man. I have been at his side for many years. He's a good man. He is also a man of violence. I don't care what you say. I know Slate, too. He couldn't murder. Believe what you want, Lady Sailor. You love him very much, don't you? Go get me a drum to beat on, King. I've just got me a cause. I've got to be shown how Slate is a killer. It is not that I do not admire, indeed relish, the fluid beauty of your walking back and forth in front of me in my office, Senorita Dual. If it is uh, not that you do not admire, Inspector LaSalle, then don't knock it, huh? Enjoy, enjoy. We have placed the Transocean Call to New Orleans Police Department, for which I will be most happy to present you the toll charges. Just give me a number how many more laps I've got to go before they call back. A girl has to pace herself in these things. So you and I have waited half a day together. I will enjoy waiting till nightfall with you. Till the end of time. Uh, this is not too long to wait for the information whether Slate Shannon is indeed a murderer, whether he did indeed kill a man, Rudy Kijon, in New Orleans, whether uh, you are not pacing anymore, Senorita Doval. At least make it interesting for me, eh? It bores you, huh? That a man arrests Slate for murder, takes him away. Knowing Slate Shannon as I do, Senorita Doval, it was only a matter of time until... Ah, pardon. Uh, Inspector LaSalle, Habano Police. New Orleans, senorita. You timed it well. Eh? See, si, I accept. No? See? Si. No. You are certain? No, I am not disappointed. It will happen sometime. Gracias. 
Operator, get me the charges, please, for the call to New Orleans. What'd they say, LaSalle? Tell me what they said. Never in New Orleans has there been the whisper of a murder of a man, Rudy K. John. If he is killed, says in New Orleans, he was killed in another place. And the man who arrested Slate was a fake, a phony, a guy with a mission. Mm, uh, thank you, Operator. $19.12, senorita, plus tax. It's cheap to buy back an innocent man, no, senorita? <laughs> I am to see you, amigo. I am sorry the crew is sure we would make music. <laughs> and how happy I am to see your friend. I wouldn't rush it, Pedro, my friend. Well, did. I shake his hand. Friend of Slay Shannon, I offer you my hand. My hand shaking apparatus is occupied at the moment, Pedro. It's in my pocket. It's holding a gun. You say gun? Yeah, that's right. Stolen from the army. Yeah, that's what I meant, Pedro. My friend steals police buzzers, army guns, jade. Uh, this is a joke, see? I should tilt my mouth like so to make a grin like so, see? I should do it. It's this way, Pedro. Yancey here has had that gun in my back for the last hour, but now... See? Let's get him! You want a shot in the shoulder too, Shannon? You want to just say so. Let the air in the shoulder a little. You know I could do that. Okay, you shot him. Now what? He'll live. That door over there goes below, Shannon. Walk ahead of me. Open it. You're a real large guy, Buster, with a gun in your hand. What happens to you when you get forgetful when suddenly you wake up in the morning and nothing's in your fist? I get cowardly. Open that closet. Everything out on the floor, Shannon. Nah, nothing. Come on, that chest of drawers. Come on, come on, open them. Spill it. Ah, the other one. Come on. Spill it. Oh, now that tin box looks possible, doesn't it? Now, doesn't it, Shannon? Come on, open it. All right, all right. Put it on the table, Shannon. Now it'll open, Shannon. Come on, do it. Oh, oh you scoundrel, you Shannon. Look what you just did for me. <laughs> Jane. Fitsui Jade. Now, couldn't that just kill you? You're listening to The Big Broadcast. And now, back to The Big Broadcast. to Bold Venture, our stars Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Oh, listen, my children, and you shall hear, and spare kind stranger one salty tear. Hear a story about a man named Slate A man jilted by a lady named Fate A man come in, police badge he show Say, Shannon, you're a killer and away we'll go I hate to tell you, I hate to say You murdered a friend in Louisiana, eh? And the man was lying, King. He was no more a cop than you or I. But he showed you a badge, didn't he, Lady Sailor? Who oh, looks at badges? Could have said chicken inspector for all I know. King. Yes, Lady Sailor. Are you worried, King? Oh, Mr. Slate has been in desperate situations before, Lady Sailor. 
Why, I have seen him when he faced danger armed only with a smile, so chilling that his enemies turned and fled, screaming into the night by the hordes. I have seen him dirty howling monsoons, taunt the burning desert with... You worried, King? Yes, Lady Sailor. Me too. I've checked every place of exit in Havana. Bus, airplane, boat. No slate. No phony cop named Yancey. King. Yes, Lady Sailor. Don't play. It sounds like... like a dirge. Lady Sailor. Mm-hmm. Mr. Slade will be all right. Yeah, him and his chilly smile. I need him like a... I need him, King. Find him. Bring him back to me. You got your feet suey jade, Yancey. Your gun poked a hole in my good friend, Pedro Velez. You've had a long day playing cops and robbers. Something eating on you, Shannon? Yeah, my feet hurt. Well, you're delicate, huh? The tour's almost over, Shannon. Inside. Ah, it's a nice place you got here, Yancey. Complete with redhead. About uh, size 12, weight 114, am I correct, miss? And you know that without trailing a finger down my arm, huh? Get rid of boy with purloined gun here, baby, and we'll have it your way. Now, don't it ever nauseate you how you keep trying, Shannon? That's Shannon, huh? I heard about you, Shannon. Yeah, I just can't keep it quiet. Come on, I'll show you who I heard from. Come on, boy. Rudy, look what Yancey man brought you. Slate. Slate Shannon. Rudy, you're alive. Oh, you're jealous, huh, Shannon? But he can't move a muscle, so don't be jealous. <clears throat> Just let Shannon lie there, Linda, so we can go away and live happy ever after. <laughs> Service. Hey, service. Just sign the register, Say, hey, what did you do with Slate? Mm-hmm. You owe me a nickel, Linda. I told you that would be the first word she said. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard. I owe you five. Uh-huh. What did you do with him, Yancey? Oh, my, she's witty, isn't she? And nice looking, too. Now, wouldn't you say so, Linda? If I were a man, if it were a foggy night in Havana. What did you do with Slate? Yeah, 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 I know. With Slate Shannon. Well, he's well, and he's happy, and he sends his fondest regards. He's eating nicely, he's gaining weight, and he says not to worry. Slate Shannon is fine. He's just fine. He's cramped a little, but he's fine. All right. You came to make a deal. Slate Shannon for what? Mm, witty and clever, too. Well, I told you, Linda, she's something, huh? Just nothing. Oh, don't look hurt, Mr. Val, but you might as well know. I think you're nothing at all. Except you have got a boat. And that's the deal. Slate Shannon for the boat. Well, almost. You see, we need a lift over to Miami. We've got a package to deliver. You let us off the boat in the States, and we give you an address, a room number, and a key. And that's where Slate will be? Oh, such a brain. A regular whiz for catching on. Uh-huh, yes. Yeah, Slate will be there. Got a deal, Miss Duval? Hmm. Sure, it's a deal. <laughs> You hurt bad, Slate? Uh, come on, Slate. Come on. Rudy? Yeah, I've been, I've been talking to you for the last hour trying to get through to you, Slate. Uh, You've got to get up. you got to get up and get out of here. I got this nice, soft floor to enjoy, and a, a guy like you has to louse it up. Slate, I, I told you I apologize. I apologized uh, to you. Yeah, I forgive you for being alive, Rudy. There was a happy rumor afloat that you were dead. <laughs> Yancey told you this. Is that correct? Yeah, he added a flourish. He said, I killed you. When this floor starts getting hard again, I, I might get around to it. Ah, oh, this is madness. Everybody knows you wouldn't kill me. Me, Rudy Kijan, your old shipmate. Yeah, that was the one time I... 
took the wrong boat. Come on, Shannon. Real strong man. Be brave. Get up. Oh, oh that's good, Shannon. It's good. That's very good. Now, now untie me and I'll be your crutch. Yeah, before this wonderful thing happens to me, Buster, brief me what you're doing here. Eh, it's because I talk too much. Because I unzipped my mouth in Trinidad. So you unzipped. What came out? The brave, crazy days I had with Slate Shannon. I told of them to Yancey and that beautiful Linda. And I told them also of another intimate friend. Pedro Velez? Of course, Pedro Velez. How rich and fat he was becoming on the Burma run. How he brought Fitsui Jade out of the archipelago. Yeah, you're a real bright boy to blab that around. Oh, now, please, Slate, untie me. Yeah, I will, because Pedro Velez has got an apology coming, too. For what you did to him, for what you made me do. Well, I'll sing it to Pedro if he likes. Tell him I'm getting back his jade. Tell him I'll bandage the wounds I let him take. Tell him that. Come on, come on. Look, is it my fault if the motor doesn't start? You got the look of a grease monkey, monkey. How come you can't start this tub? Run that gun up and down her spine, Yancey. Then maybe she'll remember Now, wait how. a minute, wait a minute. I just thought of something. Shannon says something about a sick carburetor. Real sick, huh? See? Huh? Oh, what a clever grease monkey. Now I'll get Yancey and me in this package to Miami. Hold it, I'll cast off. Okay, Skipper, honey, you're okay now. Yeah, she is. Shannon, you... you... Take off, sailor, I've got this guy. You late? Aye, aye. Ah, welcome ashore, Yancey. You, you like to mess things up, don't you, boys? Yeah. Messy, huh? Yeah. Uh, you grabbed me in my my cowardly face, Shannon. I didn't have my gun. But I got it now. You and this gun met before, didn't you? Yeah. You and your gun. Without a tin box full of jade. You'll get it back for me, boy. Go on, run up a distress flag or whatever it is you salts do to bring home a boat. It's a black night, Yancey. Sailor won't see it. Well, I got a better idea, Shannon. I'll let this gun talk to you a little bit. Then you'll scream. And that girl of yours will come back. You ever catch my bob and weave, Yancey? On a black night, it's terrific. And I've got a duck that'll surprise you. You want to try? You want to start screaming? You got one shot, Yancey. Make it good. Is that you, Slade? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. I lied to him, sailor. What are you talking about? Yancey got two shots. The first one missed me. The second one I rerouted. Yancey stopped it. Ah, where's Linda? What do you want to know for? And the bucket of jade she had with her that belongs to a friend of mine. Where is it? Are you worried about the jade? Or are you worried about Linda? Come on, come on. The jade's over by the wheel slate. And Linda... Come over here, Slate. There she is. That's Linda? Raw hamburger on those eyes, Slate. They'll go down. Ice cube on the lips. And pivot teeth you can get from any friendly credit dentist. <laughs> well, let's get rid of these people, sailor. Then we can go home. <laughs> Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, will return in just a moment. See, I 
finally convinced you, huh, sailor? Uh-huh. You really did. I don't ever fight me on these things. You want business, you've got to advertise. Okay, okay. I'm convinced this sandwich board is just the thing. Looks nice, doesn't it? Mm, I like the sign you printed on it, too. Fetching. Yeah, I, I dreamed it up all by myself. Shannon's place, where nature has a rendez... Turn it around, sailor. Vu with you. It's tweaking, Slate. It really is. Only how about the people who see the backside first? All they're going to see is Vu with you. Well, in the advertising game, we call that a tease. You ready, sailor? All right, if you say so. Up. Uh, now over. That's it. Fit all right? Pretty heavy, isn't it? <laughs> Beefing already. I tell you, it's okay. When you walk, Slate, do it on tippy-toe. You shouldn't drag it on the pavement. Ah, oh, you look fine. Come here. Mmm, yummy. A Slate burger. Get out of here, Slate, before I gnaw right through the wood. And so, our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture.